Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is The Last Spell. I know I said I was gonna play any more Steam Summer Games Festival demos, but this one is going an extra week, so it's not really a Steam Summer Games Festival demo anymore. The game is amazing. I actually, I recorded this video already, but it went corrupt, and it's so good that I need you guys to see it. It, it is actually probably one of my most anticipated games flat just like that state that's my statement it's like one of my most anticipated games i'm very excited to show it to you roguelike it's got a little bit of a, a, a little bit of a lot of things it's a, a tactical rpg but you also have kind of like some darkest dungeon style elements in like uh re, like you know creating a little city uh resource management in that way but it goes in phases tower like tower defense sort of uh, tactical RPG sort of base builder sort of but it meshes them together in a way that doesn't feel like you're playing three separate clunky games it's just I'm so excited to show you guys the last spell so how to play well I guess we can uh, hey cool it shows me this again and we also have randomized characters that's actually good to know even in the demo here if you're interested in playing the demo it is available for one more week uh, the demos were supposed to go away on June 22nd it's gonna last another week after that how to play. Your goal, you must protect the magic circle until the mages cast the last spell. The demo is limited to five days. The full game obviously won't be. You lose if it's destroyed and all or all of your heroes are dead. That each day is split into three phases. Deployment, build defenses, prepare your heroes, place them next to your walls or outside of your walls. Phase two, battle, fight the enemies. And let me tell you, there's a lot of them. Play your heroes in any order you want. And then comes the enemy's turn. Any enemy inside your city will cause panic. The panic level determines your rewards at the end of the night. Production is the final phase. Improve your city by building new structures. Have your heroes interact with them. Heal their wounds. Buy and produce new gear. Boost your economy. Upgrade your heroes, aka like their stats uh, and their loadouts and everything. And then final tips. City inventory is unavailable at night, so make sure to equip all of your equipment you need beforehand. Basically, during the combat phase, you cannot re-equip change up your builds uh and, and all of the abilities that your heroes have and they're they could become very very unique uh are t largely tied to the weapons they're holding and then you can change up their stats to kind of turn them into whatever class you want kind of it's it's really neat uh yeah we camera moves around each weapon uh, each hero can have two different weapon sets so on top of the fact that they get the customization of having you know, a main hand, an off hand, or two hand that all has its own unique set of skills, you can have two sets of those weapons to have even more customized abilities. But here we go. I th don't think we can do anything. I think we have zero bucks to spend on this first day here. The enemies are going to be coming from down there. So let's check out first things first. Let's see what kind of characters we even have to deal with here. We've got U Utrid. <laughs> He's a slowpoke. So this is a, a like an interesting darkest uh, dungeon style element. Each character has their own kind of uh, negative or positive quirks to them. Kerala Mahika. All right. Utrid, what do you got? You got a rusty sledgehammer, which has a bunch of different cool things that I actually do not know. I, I did not get a character that had a sledgehammer. Hammer strike. I almost think that we just throw the characters out and then we just see what they do in combat. I just kind of want a loose idea. Okay, Rusty Axe and a Shield and plus 40 health. This character, I think, got randomized into a tank, to be honest. And what looks like a Magician, but with a Rusty, solitary Rusty one-handed Axe. Interesting. Yeah, this character looks like the game. And she's a Butcher wearing priest robes with a single Rusty Axe. You are an interesting character. All right, I'm going to... Put all my characters just right up here behind the walls. Because they do actually have the ability to uh, to leap on over them with ease. Eh, you know what? Who cares? Who dares wins? Let's be a little bit spicy with it, baby. Okay. Bring it on. All right. Here is phase one. <laughs> They're going to keep on coming. Okay. So we obviously, we got all of this movement up here or down here. You can see eight is the amount of movement we have. We can also use the movement to jump over the wall, which is effectively just one space, two space, instead of going one, two, three, four. So that's why being by walls can be quite beneficial. You can just, you know, scoot over them, scoot back. 
This character, she she does not know what she is. <laughs> this character, okay, you can move up there. I almost think, I almost think we just let them approach yet another turn here because we didn't really get close enough. I think, I think that might be our best case scenario. Sure. And then let, let, let's see, where, where are we safe? We're safe. Boy, we're not, we're not able to move too much closer. Oh, you can also press backspace to undo your movement as long as you have not done action yet. Oh my, I don't know. I really, it's okay, they're taking down my bears. I really wish we actually did something on that first turn here. Our characters seem to, we have two characters that have a, a similar weapons. So there's actually quite a bit of variety even in this alpha demo here, so. You know, it's kind of a bummer. I'll, I'll, I'll try to buy a new weapon so we can get some variety at the end of the day. But we've got... Let's see. We can attack in one direction, and it swipes all three spaces horizontally. Kind of thinking we do something like like that. We also have this, which uses two of our, uh, our action points and one of our mana. Uh, which is we do we just regenerate each we regenerate the action points each turn mana it does not come back in the same way we still have the action points so we could do this as well you know what two spaces we still have nine movement speed or movement spaces here okay so far so fine we can get like really really back there we have one action point i don't we gotta be careful. We can get overwhelmed like very quickly. I think let's just do this and run. Back to the other side of the wall, maybe? Okay, what do we got? Ground smash. Targets five, range two to three. Okay. In a plus formation. So is there anywhere? We could relocate a little bit. I think that we take weird lady who does not know what class she wants to be swipe them fools one two three get lucky yeah basically did a uh, the same sort of pathway there oh god this person le like lived with just a little bit there mega stomp what even 2-2, two, two, targets 1, uh, additional effects, propagation 5, change 90% of the damage and effects such as stun, poison, to adjacent unit recursively. Okay, so like, that seems like, in theory, that's gonna be crazy, right? It should bounce between all of them? Oh my god, that is some zest. So we can do that two more times, which I almost think we just make sure we do that. Okay. I mean, that's a, that was a lot. We're not in a great spot, though. We're going to get a little overrun here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My last, my last run, I had a lovely, uh, much better <laughs> set of characters. Okay, okay, okay. At least in my opinion. We have to be careful with the uh, the chain because I do believe there's actually friendly fire. And... Clean them out a little bit here. Oi. Oi. This... Yeah, they keep on living with just like a little tiny bit of damage. does in a the plus formation i don't feel like there's great spots for that right now don't really want to attack my tower spot there what the hell can you even do one two should we do this one two three Yeah. 
I don't love this. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up, back up, back up, back up. I said back up, back up, back up. All right. We can do this and a punch. That's not a bad idea. Okay, so it, it's, it went up this way. I was kind of hoping it would go down that way. We still have a punch. I think that if we kill this guy... Yeah, we can uh, maybe keep him out. Like, yes, we're probably going to get hit, but we're going to keep him out as well, which is ideal. We also have a way to increase our armor. I think we just do what we can here to clean house up a little bit. My outfit's... <laughs> Okay, all right full of guts now gross. Is that what she said? We also have a single target punch, which just I think every character does have If we move here how many movement spaces we, we have quite a bit left we could just stand right here We could literally block passage uh, bap, bap, bap. This is quite a bit more Do we still have enough movement? No, what if we do it there? I mean, that actually blocks passage a decent amount still. Go for a good old-fashioned... Eh. Two does not kill. So we might as well do this as long as we're okay with using the mana. And I think we are. I think we are. I think I might just go back and do a little... One HP! You gotta be kidding me! This is not going great. Oh, Nelly. I think... Okay, so we got the... We're, we're in the final wave here now. Kind of want to move you one space up. Just in... No, it probably won't matter. Chain effect. Oh my god, you love to see it. Okay, I think we do the chain effect again. We're going to be maybe in like a little bit of peril. But I just really, I think that's super promising. Uh, Oh, hell. Oh, no. Do I like that? Do I like that? I don't love that. We could then back up. We could do one more forward. Do an extra three there. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I, I also definitely don't love it. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. This ain't going very well. But maybe if we wipe these out with one hit. Okay. Three HP. Boy, oh boy. We look like we're actually able to leave pretty safely. We're probably going to get hit. Yeah. We're probably going to... Uth Uthrid. Uthrid. Uthrid is probably going to get a little bopped. Okay. Our gates are going down. We might actually have good value with this move now. Hey! Chain effect. Oh boy. We, we do have a punch left. It might be a good idea. How much can you move? You can move a little bit. Hmm. Oh hell. little bits of movement we have a lot of a lot of movement left you have a punch oh god oh god oh god one two three we're, we're down to the wire here we got the punch we can't even hit anybody with Back up a little bit. All right. Oh, she... Wait, she hasn't even moved yet? 
All right. That's that's great. I thought she moved already. This is big news. She's going to be with one straggler. Who really cares? Cuz I can't uh can't move or nothing. All right. Yeah, they attack my walls though. Do not like it. Also, we have not even look we didn't even look at this move. I just assumed it was a basic uh, basic move. Okay, targets one. Additional effects. Okay, so it stuns everybody in the surrounding area. 41% chance to stun in that blue area, I guess. And it deals damage. In the right? It does damage in the main area? Range. Two to three. So we can, can we do it from here? All right. Well, that was great. Good deal. More. I wanted more. They all have, like, their own unique personalities, it looks like. The last time I played, did we get a little little panic? No panic? Okay, there's basically no city panic. So we got some pretty good rewards. So here we go. This is what we've got for, uh, for weaponry here. We could get some priest boots. Uh, I think that uh, I'm going to get the gun just so we can have some different stuff. Souls reward, final game. Darned souls will be used to unlock some metagra metagame upgrades. Uh, unfortunately, the early version is too early for development. It's unavailable for now. Good deal. No, no, no worries. And uh, here we go. Now we get to, first of all, first things first. Who do we want to uh, to use this gun move to have the, the range? I feel like you just, you seem like you should have a gun. I don't know. Like, you can have a rusty axe. Who's the other person with the rusty axe? Okay, I mean, can you have a gun and a shield? Because that is pretty cool. You can have a gun and a shield. You have an offhand gun? No. All right. Well, I mean, I'm cool with that. Hopefully we can get a secondary uh, weapon, like an offhand weapon or a shield for Mahika as well. Uthrid. All right, so you strike me as our tank since you got the extra 40 HP and, uh, and a rusty shield. So let's level up here. We can go for crit, dodge, health, regen. Amount of health regenerated every morning. Magic damage up. You're going to be the tank, then I guess we're going to want to go for a little bit of that. We also get a perk point to spend. We can increase our experience. Uh, the potential move point malice from wearing a shield is reduced by one. Oh, okay. So we could do that. Because we got a, we do have negative one move points because of our shield. Uh, heals received from any source are stronger. We don't have any right now. Does bonus damage to poison enemies. Upgrades to punch skill. Each move points move point spent increases dodge by 1% for the current turn. So if we use all 11, that's 11% 11 dodge. Hmm. I like the thought of that. Okay. Next, Mahika, you got the uh the wooden pistol. Has armor shredding on it. Armor shredding does 250% damage to armor instead of 200. Sure. Why not? I don't know what the necessary, necessarily the benefit of that is. Increases the damage output of skills using the physical damage type. I, I mean, gun. <laughs> you get extra move, extra dodge. You know, let's go. Let's keep it simple. And then Uthrid can be our, uh, maybe a little bit more weird. Like, we have our tank. We have our damage dealer. I, I mean, I guess Uthrid seems like a... He's really doing our, our big numbers. With the, the AoE attacks he has. Crit up, accuracy up, physical, dodge. Increase the chance of getting a critical hit. You know what? Sure. Let's be let's be weird with it. And then not each blow, not inflicting a crit, increases total critical by two percent. Okay. Sure, probably. I mean, experience gain sounds good. Accuracy, as long as you don't move, that doesn't sound like me. I'm going to move a lot. 
Yeah, I think let's just... You'll be our weird crit boy. You little slow poke. All right, so we're all good there then. Uh, we can check now. We can actually build structures with the money we got. In addition, each character now has the ability to start scavenging ruins for either gold or material. Uh, what is material for? I don't actually remember. Because you don't need it for this stuff. Maybe to repair? Maybe to repair. But we can do production plus one magic item when gauge is complete. Passive gauge increase of 75% every morning. Okay. Heroes can help the magic shop to increase the gauge by 50%. Gener so we can generate a bunch of magic items, range items, defensive items, melee items. Uh, heroes can drink from the mana well to regenerate mana, or they can go for the temple. So here, we can uh, we can pop down our little little temple here, but it has to fit. We can either go in and actually start breaking down some of this stuff, or since we know we're all probably only going to be playing for a maximum of an hour here, I'll probably just like pop it down here. So now, every morning we get, or yeah, every morning we get six action points. We can heal, which I will. We can also use points to savage these runes, like I said. Ruins. I'm going to do it to get a little bit of gold. Why not? Sure. Slowly but surely, and it, when that hits zero, obviously we will get the ability to uh, to to actually place something there. Okay. Where now? Let's see, is there a hot? I mean, maybe there's a hotkey to switch the characters. I bet you there is. I bet you there is. But. Doesn't matter too much. If there isn't, I guarantee there will be at the end. I'm not too worried about it. It's because when we uh, when we go on the UI, we have a little bit of issue moving the screen. It makes sense because they don't want you to go up here and have this move the screen. That's like pretty standard stuff right there. Uh, so we got a bunch of money. We could make another building or we could go shopping. Reinforced light armor. And, you know, for people who care about this like I do, it actually changes the way they look when you give them a dang new thing. Uh, which is a, a personal, like, massive boost, in my opinion, to any game. Any game that has that, like, if you have an ARPG and you change the clothes and it doesn't actually change the clothes, it, like, docks a point for me. So I don't think any of these are... Increase the caster's dodge. So the boots actually give them ability to increase their dodge. That's pretty interesting. I think we can do that. It's only $15. We can sell this axe, even. We can also get scrolls, which let us use spells temporarily. Uh, knight's armor, minus dodge, minus three move points. No. I kind of want to look and see. So you're our tank. What do you have for clothing? Plus one move points. 2%, plus 2% dodge, and then bonus move points. I feel like... I feel like you'd appreciate that. Am I wrong? We could get... You know what? Let's get a special sword, because we can check out the whole... Uh, dual... Dual wielding situation. You can have uh, you can have that, and if they get close, you'll have a two-handed sword. Honestly, the two-handed sword looks right. I don't know why the axe just the axe didn't look like it fit. The gun and the two-handed sword they look like they fit for some for some reason a lot better. Uh, but 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 boots. Where did the boots go? Do you can you not wear boots for some reason? Instead of... Oh, wait, what? Equipped hunter cape. Oh, it's up there. I see. I mean, I wanted to put this here anyways. So boots are like an accessory. I gotcha. I gotcha. Plus one move points. Uh, minus physical damage. Bonus mana. You know what? It feels like that makes a little more sense. 
I I'm going to keep these, though, in case we do get... Uh, See, with the, the, the hammer does with the hammer it looks weird too it's just something about like axes and hammers don't seem to go as well with the like the robes for whatever reason we got 43 bucks left let's um let's buy a potion let's buy a, just a solitary potion figure out where the next wave is coming from i guess we don't get to know until we do that equip your new gear i guess do i have to have this on a we do have to have it on a person. Okay, build some defenses. Should we? They're coming from that direction. Stone wall. Oh, I can jump over the wall. You know what? Okay, so this is what we can get for materials. We can only build in our base there. We can make a catapult, a watchtower, vertical gate that I bet you we cannot heroes can go through it i guess enemies probably cannot that's i mean that's slick but we'd probably have to uh let's do it let's demolish it i want to try give me a vertical gate and a little bit of a uh, barricade on that side why not okay and then we'll put ourselves out up there. Just get everybody for now. I'm going to use WASD instead. It, it feels better. Uh, oop. I want you up here. God dang it. You. Get up here. Okay, so you have your pistol. You're our tank. Uh, whether or not you should be this close is maybe a good question. Who cares? Bring it on. Let the slaughter begin. Oh, mama. Okay. Barricade already broken. What is our gun moves? Grape shot. Ooh. Cool. Pistol shot. Yeah, we definitely have less moves due to the fact that uh, we only have half of a half of a kit effectively, but we can switch to our sword at any point charge targets to maneuver move to wherever we click okay I'm a little conf oh that okay that's cool and then we could oh my god sword blast and then we could get up in there and like Rape shot blast with the gun. Should we? No. But like I'm I'm seeing an interesting way how a lot of this could really really pan out cool. Alright, you have you still have the AoE swipe. This just that feels like the right thing to do there. And I think you maybe get out. Undo, undo, undo. So that can only be in a straight line. Can this be a diagonal? It cannot. That's as far as we could get back then. This is a, somebody looks a little bit spookier right there. For sure. I kind of wish I would have purchased the crossbow for one of you. Yeah, you're super armored. Uh... What does this look like? Armor shredding? Okay. Well, we definitely bopped the armor. <laughs> like, that's definitely true. This will probably kill then. Okay. 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 I feel way better now. So this uses two of our movement points to uh, increase our dodge. Let's do it. Just in case. And you, you get a face full of hammer. Oop, undo. You get a face full of hammer whenever we... You are joking a little, right? 
<laughs> oh my god. Thank you, Dodges. Thank you, Dodges. Can you handle this section all on your own? Did that stun really do nothing? Oh, God. Did we really not get any of them with the stun? All right, we need to we need to do some thinking. There, there's some like obviously good moves here. We can move here to kill you and can do a little grape shot blast. No, 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 no. Grape shot blast, because otherwise we will we will hit our our hero. Okay, well that did a lot. Oh boy. As well. Maybe you get out. What is the range of this? It's pretty pretty huge. You can do this, get on the other side of the barrier, just like that. Hmm. Right, 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 it's fine, it's fine. You can even go on up and do a little oops, pouch, dip back out. This is where the uh, the problems are. It's over here. Oh boy, yeah. I I don't think I don't think they got stunned. I don't see any indication of a stun anywhere. We'll maybe see later. So now the ground smash feels stupid. I don't even I don't think it is. Cuz they're not the attack's not going to link to them correctly. All right. Good deal. End turn bring it on Pong. So oh, Nelly. Thank you dodge. Oh boy. Okay, so we're out of mana. That's causing a lot of problems there. So those are stunned. He made it! Okay, that that's going to help a lot. Last, I mean, I do. What does our movement look like after that? We cannot get back behind the wall. Can we get back behind the wall if we do this? No. What do we do this? Yes. But that's not nearly as good. I don't know. Maybe we get over here shred the armor like I know he's stunned though so that's what's making me feel as though it oh oh I didn't know we could do that from such a far distance I mean I know it's a gun and everything but okay we have two movement points so I think we get to the other side of the wall right oh we can't undo that movement all right that one we can't undo Can we still get back to the other side? We have seven. Yeah, we could, right? No. Oh, because we can't vault over that. Can we vault over? We can vault over there. Okay, I think that's what we do. Not my favorite. We can go back here. Do a nice punch just for the hell of it. Good deal. Thank you, walls. Oh my god! Oh no! 
Oh no. Can't do this over the wall, right? Yeah. We could do it if we want to break our wall. If we do this, can we get back? No. Boy, this is, uh, this is just the pits, huh? We'd even, I mean, we can't stun our own wall. I hated that. I feel like the punch is almost the way to go. No, I regret everything about what we did. Two, we could do this and still jump back over the wall. Yeah, I regret that turn heavily. Didn't go right. But since I can't leap over this wall, I almost think we leap over this wall, do our move, and then get back out through the door. Just a good old-fashioned door. If we move one forward, we can still... Get him. I mean, oh hell, I'll take it. So you, I mean, you're ranged though. Oh, you can get over the wall here. All right, six movement points. Can only shoot straight in front of us. That's pretty good. Just do it again. Takes out a good amount of them. And then we just hop right back over. In and out. All right, you, can, you couldn't hop over. You can go through the door. I can't... You, okay, I can't give that to somebody else. I have to use it on myself. Oh, no! This is... This is wild. Should we hit our own gate, knowing that it's going to go away? Anyways. Hmm. No, I hate it. I hate that was such a bad idea. Well, I mean, now we can get through. We can get through just fine. So can they. But disregard that. All right, we made... All right, all right. The, the misplays need to stop now. Let's think about this a little bit longer here. Sure looks like we can do this. But we can't. Can't get over the wall either. There's a zombie in the way. Kind of like the idea of just clearing out a path here. For. I wish we could vault here. We can't. The, the pointy bit is making it so we can't vault there. That would have been an that would have been a much better turn than anything I think we're gonna do here. We have a lot of movement. We could go in. I think this is not a bad call. So we can just get back out. We have seven movement left. Let's get out of the doorway. Okay. Vault. One, two. Come on. Come on, stunts. Come on, stuns. Get back in. All right. Yeah, I don't think... Yep, just wanted to double check. We cannot. Correct, correct. Oh, boy. They're in. We are so toast. Good man, why could why did my first video have to get scrapped? I perfected the first two days. No. Now I look bad. The fact that we're out of that mana is... Uh, I think we, we used it way too early.
don't need walls, right? Who needs him? I, I am loving that grape shot blast, though. God, they're all so spaced out. It's like we almost need to just go in and punch. This gate was a good investment for sure, though. I think. For sure, I think. Hmm. Try to, I just want to use my brain a little bit here. What a shocking concept. We have three attacks left. Five. All right. want to make sure that guy's gone because he's about to you know get over the wall there we can do this and thought that might be enough well but now we'll definitely kill with a punch that is something okay this is a uh no this is a problem okay that's safe the stun so I guess we're just good here to take we're not gonna take a hit okay 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 we're gonna get some pretty bad rank action going on for sure they're destroying uh checks notes all of it I actually think this is fine. Can we shoot through this? Seems like it, kinda. We cannot. Can we vault over it? We cannot! Looks like if we kill this one, we can get to relative safety, though. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, this is the final wave, though. Way better than what I... What it kind of seemed like it was going to look like. Still not good at all. I think that this is almost certainly a move to make. If only we could do that... so expensive but this character is like miles better than my other ones right now it really feels like they get to the, the move points mean a ton what does this look like I like it the stuns I think are important Stunned, not stunned. He's probably going to take it a hit or five. He might die. You may die. Boy, this is just like continual situations where I wish you had the potion. They're just coming in to destroy the base. 
We don't have any mana for Grape Shot. Don't have any mana for the Lunge. The sword does 100 to 120. Logically way more than the, oh my God, than the pistol. Cause it's super limited in, uh, in scope. But, um. You should have been a swordsman all along. I think we will be better off if we literally just punch here. And I kind of want to do this just to check the AoE there. Can we do it from here? I was really hoping for more stun out of that. It's all good. I think we'll be fine. In fact, we might be able to kill... We get three... Yeah. You know what? Do the stunned one last, but I think we got them all. Oh my god. We did it! It only uh, took our entire wall scenario. Another knight survived. A rank? Are you serious? Whew. Okay, well we still got an item. Some gold. We, we, we did fine. S rank apparently. We just have to rebuild all our walls. There's nothing wrong with that. Master's Power Staff. Pillar of Light. Is there anything that gives him Fire Thrower, Scorching Wave? I mean, that's pretty sick. Crossbow. Two-handed crossbow. Looks like it's got some decent AoE effects on it. Good damage. Line of Sight Cardinal. Ah, so like the, uh, like the pistol. Melee, line of sight cardinal, line of sight. I kind of want to do that. As like a, maybe a backup weapon for somebody. I should stop the video, but I don't want to. I'm having way too much fun to do that, though. Okay, so we want to... I know that it means we won't be able to fully... I think you're actually okay. You got the potion. Fully salvage for, for materials and such, but... Which direction are they going to be coming from? I guess that's the thing. They don't want you to know because I like if they were coming from this direction, I obviously want to salvage. I think it's in our best interest to, to go for a lot of salvaging right now. Okay, so that's gone. We get to go crazy with this character because I don't feel like we really need the HP there. Nice. Okay. We have 39 now. Quite good. Do a little bit of level up action. Uh, let's see. Who are we? This is Utrid. Putrid Utrid. Landing a crit regenerates a mana. Honestly, that sounds really useful. That sounds... Really, 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 really useful. Because he has terrible mana generation. That's one thing I was going to say. His mana regen is, is booty. Okay. Increases the total mana from 21 to 25. Or increases it by 5? Wait, plus 4. It says right down there. Plus 4. Uh, health, dodge, accuracy. I don't know. Physical damage obviously sounds nice. In increases the chances of your successful additional effects. There we go. That helps with our stun. That sounds amazing. Kerala. Our tank. Uh, the potential move point malice from wearing anything. I don't think we have any. Nope. Uh, crits on isolated enemies. Bonus damage when there's nothing in the secondary slot. I mean, that's pretty cool. Killing an enemy with a, a skill provided by a melee weapon regenerates three health. Carol is a vampire. Health, movement. Movement. Magic. Crit. Mana. I think we just go for health, right? She's a tank. 
Mahika. I think uh, I think we'll give Uhtred the uh, the staff there for the secondary. A little bit of chaotic fire magic action. Mahika, I don't know what what you're okay. You are you are a wild one. I mean, physical damage up is a safe bet, I think, though. She's all over the place with what she is. She's still... Mahika, don't, she don't know. She don't know what she want to be. Each move's point suspend. Increases dodge. Increase the punch. Melee weapons. Range damage. She's all over the place. I don't really know. Crit on isolated enemies. Damage when nothing's equipped in the second slot. Almost none of this is relevant. Damage to poison enemies. Enemies. Hmm. Landing a crit regenerates some mana. You know what? We might honestly... Crits increase by 30% of their accuracy. So... Extra 3% crit chance? Okay. Why not? Traits minus 3. Oh, we have minus 3 from... No! <laughs> so it just evens it out to 0. It's okay. Well, now we're at a more different zero. Doesn't really matter. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Uh, let's check out the gear. What, what's here? Meteor Shower Ring gives the ability to do Meteor Shower. Three, oh my god. Three action points, five mana. Six to ten range. Targets 13. That seems busted. Helmet. Resistance. Uh, I mean, Master Wands. Mystic Elven Boots, mana up. Does anybody not have a trinket? What do you, what do you even have? Bonus accuracy, bonus block. Max mana, three of twenty. Okay, so we don't get very much at the mo in the morning. So we really we need to be a lot more stingy with that. Oh, okay, okay. If we increase our current mana, does that increase? Let's just buy it. Buy a mana potion too. Helmet. Should we do it? This is this is our last day. This is our last uh, last day. In fact, I probably should have stopped already because I normally am no I normally do like thirty minutes. But this game is outstanding. Okay, you get the magic. Actually, it would make more sense for you to have that since you get benefit from the accuracy. Who gets the magic potion? Eh. Uhtred, because honestly, he feels pretty mediocre when he does not get... Okay, so this is... This was a poor choice, wasn't it? Dodge up. Yeah. Probably just shouldn't have gotten that. You do not have a secondary set of weapons. I Like, in theory, I probably should give you one. The spear, I think, is really good. But let's uh, let's give you a bow. I just want to see new stuff, for the sake of sake of new stuff. Show me your second set. There you go. It's like a cool as hell ranger. Oh my god, gang! Wishlist this game like right now. Link in the description, please. Make this game blow up. It is so unbelievably good. You have a week to play the demo. I cannot recommend it enough. I'm like. I'm on cloud nine playing this game. I feel like I keep forgetting I'm even doing a video because I'm just so enamored. Final day, final day, final day. Equip your new gear. No, I no, 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 no. So we should put up some extra defenses. The wall was nice. Or the gate was nice. Demolish. I. It's not like a... It's not super god tier. I think that maybe we want more stuff that we can vault over. A 
I like the thought of demolishing. Is there a hotkey to demolish? Probably. That's one thing that I don't know if there is, but there, it would be super beneficial. Like, hotkeys all around, baby. Like, you better believe there should be hotkeys all around for a game like this. Because this is this is the kind of game that somebody would is going to play forever. <laughs> this is the kind of... And that somebody's name is Retromation. <laughs> so, games like that, I feel like hotkeys, especially, you know, like, they just save a lot of human lifetime. <laughs> you know? All right, you get out front. WASD, there we go. You get, eh, yeah. All right, good deal. Bring him on. Bring on the zombie. Oh. Uh. Can I see what he, d he does? Boomer. I mean, I I could I could take a wild guess and say he explodes. What would that look like? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it. Do it! Then I think we like, just, right? Clean house with range. Back the hell out of there. All right, what is this magic staff action? AOE debuffs their damage in the AOE. Does damage in the middle and debuffs damage in the AOE. This is a melee range cone blast. Okay. This is. Ooh. Ooh, I like. I like the safety that's there. Okay. Should we? Bring it. Send them. Ooh. You're going to get boomed, aren't you? Uh, okay, well, we actually do have the bow and arrow, and it's a... Interesting one. Okay, so it, that's what it is. I can shoot huge, amazing range. Okay, but it doesn't do a ton of damage. Gotcha. Tight volley. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm digging the bow and arrow. And then we switch back to the sword and shield as we probably say that's all, folks. Could restore mana. What would, ha would anything happen if we restored mana? No. Your, your stuff is so expensive. All right. Nobody can reach me. Okay, the only one that can reach is you. So if I position myself right here and we just like up our dodge a bunch, we may just, nope, you went, you went past. You did not, you decided you did not care. So what AOE does he explode in? Is that also his damage radius? Well, let's find out. Oh God. Um. Okay, so it does it damages everyone, all the enemies around them. Okay, that's that. I like that. Uh. The spot I want to be is actually like right here. We have a ton of movement yet, so I think we go in. And we chunk. Go here, right? No, nah, well now it's like not as big of a deal. 
damage down on Erewhon. Boy. This is, uh, it's a pickle. Have you gone yet? You have not gone yet. Okay. But you do not have any mana. Get out of my way. We could literally just, like... Step one, shred his armor. We do tons of damage to armor. Step two... Go on a sword spree? I mean, this is just... It's so cool looking when that happens. Is that good? I, I don't... I know I have an extra attack, but I can't... Oh, I can. That worked out amazingly. Okay, that character is... Choice now. Alright. Uh, protect... Switch to the sword and shield, or the axe and shield. Oh boy. Oh boy. Leap over the wall, right? Blast the boomer if we can. Jump back over? Hip hip hooray. Uh oh. We can't grape shot blast. Yikes. I think if we do something like that to remove his armor, we go in. We're going to get boomered. Okay, that is so satisfying. We have two attacks left. Uh. Honestly, just keep on... Just blop them. Gun, how much HP? 73! There's a really good chance that we're okay. Can you move anymore? Do it. <laughs> uh... Sacrifice. You'll be a hero. Um, you might be okay. Everybody else is basically done here. Just, I mean, I don't think there's any point to doing that, but I'll do it anyway. All right, next. Oh, there's somebody getting caught over there. Oh, boy. You have no mana regen, do you, Mahika? You do. I just... I used all two of it, apparently, but I didn't feel like I did, actually. Oh, God. Wow, I wish I had mana. I guess I can have mana. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I missed that. I missed that a lot. Oh, that was that that helps big time. Slowly but surely. Just moving on through, doing little pot shots. This is adorable. Uh, we got two movements. We can either... Yeah, well. Get out. You are on my nerves, man. Rain of arrows. Target seven. Range three to eight. 
I just kind of need to. What? These types of AoEs are so wow, are so neat looking. Normal shot. Yeah, pretty, pretty silly, I think. Should we vault or stay to potentially take the brunt of the damage? Punk, that punk. All right, that punk over there. Oh, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. I need the boomers to go. Can we do this? We do whatever we can here. Uh, 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 big number. They should ch uh, set off a chain reaction, you would think. Oops. Definitely should have done a little bit more look at the numbers there. Can we hit you? We cannot. Tree is in the way. Line of sight. Ooh. Something tells me we should jump the wall. I don't know, gee, I don't know what it is. Something tells me that is maybe the call. Oop, stop it. Don't have any energy left. Yeah, you just... I guess you don't need to jump the wall. You could just walk inside, but just jump the wall. Just do it, just do it. Then you can just stand inside. Uh, ooh. Okay. This is... Uh, Okay, he blew up on my wall. He blew up on my wall indeed. Jump the wall? Don't be a hero, but please do. Quite happy with the result, I'm, I'm glad. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Man. Oops. Man. You're a hero. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Should we go? Should we go in? Start swarding? Yeah! Yeah! It's pretty cool. Got five movement left. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that two-handed sword, though. It's... Oh, my God. It's nice. Can we... Okay, we need line of sight. Uh, additional effect, minus two move points. I mean, that sounds really handy. Keeping them from approaching there. As hard. I don't have any punch points. Oh my god. Ah! So we can jump over the wall. Got a sword and shield out. You are gonna maybe die. Oh god! He's fine. He's fine. Don't fact check it. He's fine. Where's a mana potion when you need one? That is a wonderful question, my boy. I, I feel like I, I want to stop them, but, like, more important than that, I really feel like we need to make sure this, uh... Oh. Oh! Make sure these punks don't get in. If we could get the explody boys... I feel like that would be fantastic. What happens if we do this? Can we do it then? Should we? Yes. Explode for me, big boy. 
No! We are in for it now. Mon frere. Your final hope here. I mean, we could go in and sacrifice your sword style. You could be a hero. One, two, three. We have eight. One, two, three, four, five. Be a hero. I mean, honestly, she slaps. Uh, no reason not to do this, but this is go oh, no! My boy, he's so toast. Cut the video. Cut the video. Cut the video. All right, step one, yeah. He doesn't look like he does friendly fire. The fact that we're out of all the AOE except on you is really, ooh, it's bad. Can't align it horizontally now. Can we? Oh, no, okay. Honestly, that worked out fine. Maybe we can just get their attention. Maybe we can just get their attention there. Sword? I mean, I love the sword, and then we can just remove... Oh, did we crit? We did indeed. We can remove armor on these fuels. And then get the hell out of there. All right. R.I.P. Man, I definitely remember the name of. See, here's the thing. Like, you can do the darkest dungeon thing where you name them after people and you start to get all attached to them. I think we might get out of this alive. But it's going to be, like, a little sucky. Five movement. Can we get you? No, we'd have to move closer. All right. <laughs> Genius, man. Back in action. You can also just break the building like that, which is pretty slick. Okay. I'm right. You know what? This is the last, like I said, this is the last fight we're doing in the video. Just guarantee we win. Why not? Or, I mean, it's tough to call this a win. Did our, uh, is the thing I just broke right there our, our healing zone? It does I mean, it doesn't matter. Like I said, we're done after this. Or is this our healing zone? I think I might have broken my healing zone. That doesn't really matter. So glad we can backspace. Can we jump over anything here? Can we jump over that? No. Uh, I don't love the idea of being right here. But we could do lots of damage to the armored boys. That crit is fantastic. Thank you, gun. Got a bow. Can we do that? If we move to the right spot, I bet you we can. I kind of want to just say, get rid of it. Clean enough. I mean... This does 29 to 50. This does do more. 
We can't do it to enemies who are too close to us, though. All right. Protect. Protect. Oh, my God. Look at our city panic level. Woo. Woo, Nelly. Ooh, Nelly. I'm glad we're done after this because it sure seems like we would be anyways. Actually, since it's a single target, it does seem like the bow and arrow is better anyway. We did it. We've been to hell and back. You have not. However, Uhtred has definitely been to hell. I'm looking forward to the day where he comes back. But anyway, that is going to do it for today here. Holy moly, mother of God. This has been the last spell. Top, I, I top most anticipated game for me. Uh, slam dunk out of the, uh, out of the demo here. What a, what an amazing demo. Please do play it for yourself with the link in the description. It's totally free to download. For one more week as long as you're watching this as the day, like at the day this video came out one more week uh, a little bit less than but otherwise go wishlist the game or if the game's out you know go buy the game if you are interested in it because holy moly it is so good we got bot but like it is so 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 good i'm definitely definitely going to do a series on this when it comes out so do subscribe to the channel if you are interested in that and if you're new here check out the channel. I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. And if you enjoyed the video or you enjoyed the game, press the like button. If you enjoyed what I, what I did, press it because you want YouTube to serve up my video to other people. And if you like the game, like the video because it helps serve this game to my audience. But either or, it's a win-win. If you like one of, one of the two, either me or the game, if you like both, dang baby, that like button is a two-for-one special. But anyways, that is going to do it for today. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.